She's the GOAT, you know? And so I believe we're all attempting to reach our Buddhahood, you know, our state of full enlightenment, which is where we can go as we please and, like, reclaim our life. And so the fool is the precursor to the Savior. Jordan Peterson said that. So it's like the Bodhisattva is kind of almost like the fool, like people are probably looking at Harry Tubman like, you crazy, like you already saved all of them. Come on, just chill. She's like, no. The fool sees, the fool is only the fool to people who don't see the savior. The people that Harry Tubman went and saved, she was not no fool to. She was the savior. And if she hadn't have, if she hadn't have went, some of those people that would, you know, call her a fool would have been fools too because they don't even know they got saved. So, it 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 is not a a light thing to be a bodhisattva. Don't think like it's oh like just be a bodhisattva and then be a Buddha. No, like it takes it takes some freaking courage to get up every day and say you know I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. I got knocked down. I'm gonna get up. Even if it's just you getting up. The working man, like I said, that is a bodhisattva, and it's essentially the Buddha too. Because if you can work and live your whole life and work, man, and and be co- cool with people, because the Buddha mind is the Bodhi mind. And and I watched a, a young baby, like it's funny, on my path, and his name was Bodhi. And that's how I learned later. That's how I came to understand what it truly meant for the Bodhi mind. When I learned that in, you know, enlightenment, it's the Bodhi mind is what truly enlightenment was. I understood it instantly. Because it's the child, it's the baby. It's the baby's mind. Well, the baby doesn't have to do anything. And you know exactly what's going on. Everyone wants to watch it. Everyone loves it. Everyone... You know, they only get sick of it when it's their kid, but it's okay. <laughs> but, and that's how our mind is. It's like, you only get sick of your mind, you know, when it's your kid. But that's a you know far example. I'm not going to use that. But, you know, that alignment is the Bodhi mind. And so when you've reached that level, that's the working man. The working man and the rich man, they can both laugh and, and do whatever and do what they want and be happy and be like a little baby and just live and be taken care of because they've reached that level of just enlightenment somehow. The Bodhisattva, the Bodhisattva makes sure that everyone around them, he goes back and forth to get them and says, hey, you know what, this is going to be blah, 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 you know. And I, and I know I'm running along with this, but I want to make it clear. And so new lifestyle is essentially... It's the road of Bodhisattva, I'm, you know, I, it's the road of Bodhisattva, you know, just you going in and out with yourself in the world of like, you know what, I'm going to go to work, then I'm going to go grind on my own. And then it's like, or, you know, I'm going to, you know, grind for myself, then I'm going to grind for the world. I'm going to attain alignment, then I'm going to go back and help everyone else. And so that's what new lifestyle is. It's that road. New lifestyle is that road to get you to Buddhahood, enlightenment. Because you're going to make a lot of... It's not even mistakes. The only mistakes once you stop. There's no such thing as failure. I wrote my thesis on this. Don't play. <laughs> There's no such thing as failure. You know, once you stop... You know, once you stop this... Your your new lifestyle... Then that's when, you know... You have to say again... Okay, I'm going to start my little new lifestyle. So you might as well just start it... And stay on it... And just live. And so that's why it's... It's such a beautiful thing to look at as like... Wow... You know, I'm going to keep doing this and I, I no matter what I do, if I like it, I'm going the right way in the sense of hold up now. Don't don't get me wrong. If it if it's something you love and, it, and it's like, OK, I like doing this. Right. Boom, boom, boom. I keep doing it. Now, you know, you love it and it's pure love if it has made a way for you, if it has not made a way for you. You never liked it, okay? That's all I'm going to say on that one. You let that marinate and do whatever you need with it. I have went to 50 minutes. <laughs> but I truly, I'm in a much better spirit now, man. Because I'm honestly thinking about this in a new light. I'm really excited that I did this because I'm doing this for people. It reminded me, man. I'm doing this for people who were down you know, or are down or whatever, you know, and, and because I, I, and shit, I might go back and listen to this mug, you know, 50 minutes and all, because 
You know, we all, we all, we all get down, but it's, you know, it's not a damn thing to get up. So I was trying to finish out on a good note. I guess I'll finish out on the mantra of new lifestyle, which is all it takes is one original thought matched with effortless action to change the world. My original thought was just coming on here and speaking and the effortless action. Well, my original thought was that I can do this. I can do it. And the effortless, effortless action is what, you know, just me doing it because I do it all the time. And I have changed the world because I've changed my world. Maybe nothing is like fairies ain't flying around and cars ain't flipping and the world ain't going crazy and I ain't got no banners flying up. However, I am different, so everything else is different. I am whole, so everything else is whole. That's how it works. All right. I'm going to say the mantra again because I always do that. I always do that. I always keep going. (laughs) All it takes is one original thought matched with effortless action to change the world. So go get your original thought. Go do what you're already doing and change the world.